Hey everyone, I'm doing the NJ Skyland species number one, common milkweed, known by the scientific name of Asclepius syriaca. These plants occur in weedy patches and they're perennial, meaning they grow in the spring and the summer, they die down in the fall, and they return the next spring. Their leaves are oval or egg-shaped with smooth margins. They have a distinctive white midvein. The upper leaf surface is dark green and smooth. The lower leaf surface tends to be a more pale green and can be hairy. Their stems grow up to six feet and are also hairy, as well as hollow. And when the leaves or the stem are damaged, they secrete a milky sap. All right, let's talk a bit about their flowers and their fruit. When milkweeds bloom, they bloom purplish and pink to whitish flowers that occur in these ball-shaped structures. Each ball holds between 20 and 130 individual flowers. It's estimated that about one to two of these flowers will mature into fruit pods. On the left here, we have these almost tear-shaped fruit pods. These split open when they're mature. They release hundreds of brown reproductive seeds that are spread mostly via wind dispersion and milkweeds bloom their flowers between June and August. The common milkweed can range widely throughout the eastern United States, pretty much from north to south, as well as Canadian provinces. They also occur in Oregon, and they can be located in a wide range of areas, from fields, prairies, pastures, roadsides, fence rows, even backyards. They do generally prefer to grow in full sunlight, though they have been observed to be lightly shade tolerant. Milkweeds do serve an important role to insects as a food source. They provide food to over 450 insect species. Notably, they are a vital food source for monarch caterpillars that metamorphose into monarch butterflies. They also provide a food source to red milkweed beetles, milkweed tussock caterpillars, and red and black milkweed bugs, which actually parasitize the plant because they consume a lion's share of the plant's seeds. Milkweeds contain toxins known as cardiac glycosides. These compounds can be harmful to people, to pets, to livestock. Some of the insects that do use milkweeds as a food source actually incorporate these compounds for self-defense, including monarch butterflies. Many of the insects that do feed on them contain opposomatic or warning coloration to predators. Despite this toxicity, milkweed has a history of being used for medicinal purposes, such as wart removal or even the treatment of lung disease, and they've been used by Native American tribes as a food source after being boiled, in addition to use of its fibers for making string and rope. In recent years, it has been recognized that milkweeds are essential for monarch butterflies whose populations are in decline. So there's been a renewed interest in planting and maintaining milkweeds in order to help bolster the population numbers of these monarchs. 